Meghalaya for Girls finds an innovative way to develop eco-friendly people. We know that this is the era of tech and mechanics. In such a scenario, getting opportunity to showcase the talent can prove a miracle to young talents. Innovation and discovery have always paved the way to earn the golden chance you need to make your dreams come true. This is the story of a team of four St. Anthony's College girls studying in BSA degree program third year who made to the top six finale in Future Plus, which is an international competition, a community-driven innovation program. Hi, my name is Ananya Gogoi and I'm a part of Team FAPN. So basically it was lockdown and when we came to know about the competition, so our teacher, Ma'am Sona, she uh, mailed us about this competition. She was like, guys, you should uh, participate in this. And because it was lockdown and college work was not very pressuring, so we thought like, why not give it a chance? And that's how we actually went for the competition. So basically our project is about making paper from biodegradable waste. It's an eco-friendly paper. We actually got our inspiration from this uh, IIT group, like a group of uh, students from IIT Delhi. They were making paper plates from straw so it's a huge problem there because agricultural waste uh, gets burned there and but but at the same time we don't have that problem here but we have other problems as in proper management of waste uh, biodegradable waste so we thought like my, me and my team we were like guys why don't we go for this problem because this is something that we need to tackle with and that's how we came up with this idea Explaining paper making process, Farhina said, We make papers using indigenous materials like betel nut husk, vegetable peels, organic waste, and there is no use of chemicals or of any advanced technology to make these types of paper. All these papers are a biocritical paper. The process is quite simple. All we have to do is to boil the material, mix it, and blend it in mixture. Thereafter, sieve it and let it dry for a day. Wasted paper can be recycled into new paper using the same process, she added. We have used raw materials like uh, fruit pulp and vegetable waste. And the main ingredient we, uh, you know, we, we will say that is betel nut the kwai because here we find it and it is just wasted. There is no use. There was never any, you know, industry that would make paper out of kwai or you know these kind of husks so we are not just using one raw material we are collabing everything and you know these are the products we get speaking to meghalaya now correspondent exclusively prerna jain said that it was a great learning experience from our college Krishan Foundation who mentor our project throughout this and we are also grateful to future plus for giving us a platform for we got to learn a lot from them we have worked remotely and attended workshop due to the corona pandemic, but they have appreciated our project very much. Great for us, a great learning experience for all of us. Um, I feel like there, I, I actually do not know about any women industry. I feel like this will be one of the first women industry I know about. And I feel like women are so, women are not appreciated for the work we do. So I feel like it's a great opportunity for us to empower women and, uh, you know, tell people that we are something without, you know, a, uh, with the, without the support of any man. Interacting to Natalia Lingdo team FAPN, she told Meghalaya now that Meghalaya has no paper mill as of now and therefore the paper industry will definitely prosper in the region. These papers will be cost effective and help the poor children to afford the notebooks for their education. At the same time, we also believe that the government of Meghalaya will support our startup initiative as it will create jobs for rural livelihood and become a source of livelihood income for women. We have taken part in the competition held by Futures Plus 2020 and we've gotten a certificate of a special mention. Special mention, we have won and we have reached the top six. So as education for women is not that well settled, so we plan on including them to empower them, to make them learn these methods so that they can earn a livelihood and then eventually in the future have a stable income.
So in Meghalaya, the waste management is not that proper. Mm. So we are planning to collaborate with SMB, Shalom Municipality Board, and use the waste material that we collect from the locality and to use these waste in collaboration with the government to form our products. Nevertheless, this international competition is aimed at sustainable project giving new wings to more dreams like these young talents. But before the final curtain is drawn, all they need is the government support to have a startup which will generate a holistic livelihood and will work for the economic development agenda in future. So in Meghalaya, the waste management is not that proper. Mm. So we are planning to collaborate with SMB, Shalom Municipality Board, and use the waste material that we collect from the locality and to use these waste in collaboration with the government to form our products. All in all, it can be said that the effort of the FAPN team has fulfilled the magnitude of the challenge that the youth of state is lacking somewhere and who is lacking behind in the field of innovation as well. These innovative dreams are now carving out a nick for the young girls to become pioneers in the industrial sector and bridge the gap. The team for approximately two months participated in workshop conducted by Future Plus and worked remotely from different location in midst of a global pandemic. Their pitch and experience under, under the mentorship of Krishan Foundation earned them a special mention in the finale rounds when announced on November 1, where they were declared the top five teams in the international competition. They are the first team for us to mentor at such a big world stage. So we do hope to co collaborate with more students, uh, especially in the northeastern region, because we do not have that many, um, you know, opportunities. So we want to create that, uh, you know, to be that bridge and to help other students from the region. Uh, allowing these students to uh, partake in this particular competition as well as Sona Lindem. She's the one who encouraged the students to participate because we had pitched uh, this particular uh, Futures Plus challenge to different people, uh, to different colleges all over the Northeast. But they were very less takers and we're so happy that St. Anthony's made it to the uh, final rounds.